another important aspect of courage, another attribute or supporting factor is compassion. And compassion can be cultivated or it can be an attitude that we bring to the practice. So I'd like to start by just imagining for a moment that you're being looked upon with kindly eyes. Perhaps bringing to mind somebody who represents benevolence, safety or love. Maybe a person or maybe a, a tree. Maybe the sunshine which shines upon all beings equally. Imagine you being held without any judgment, just regarded and accepted, just as you are. And see how that feels in the heart. Maybe you notice a physical response. Perhaps you can sense the body relaxing a little more, settling into the chair. Knowing that you're not here to prove anything or to be measured. Meditation goes in the opposite direction. Just accept every experience as it arises without claiming it or measuring or judging its worth. Every experience is here to teach us. Now see if you can bring that attitude of kindness and benevolence to your own experience as though you're looking upon your own body and mind with kindly eyes. Awareness is like the light of the sun and the kindness is like the warmth of the sun. And when these two go hand in hand, we establish ourselves in right awareness and right intention. Maybe noticing your body in a general sense, just sending it <coughs> kindly awareness and good wishes. Bringing that kind awareness to the head, to the top of the head. Noticing any sensations there. Just seeing how they soften and relax when we give them kindness. And gradually moving down the head the back of the head, to 
of the temples and the forehead. Just seeing if you can notice any holding. And not trying to change that, but just regarding it with kindness and gentleness. And inviting it to relax. Moving down to the whole face, part by part, bringing the light and the warmth of this awareness, the kindness, as you feel the sensations on the face, down the neck. the shoulders and just slowly continue to gently pass your kind awareness through the body Until the whole body is suffused with this kind, gentle awareness. If you feel comfortable just gently resting the mind on this experience with whatever comes to the awareness, please continue. But if your mind feels steady, we can gently see if you can lean in towards any areas of discomfort at all. Be physical contractions or pressure, maybe aching. Or perhaps an emotional pain. Maybe sadness. See if you can very gently just bring that into this stream of kindly awareness and just come a little bit closer with an interested and curious attitude not forcing anything
notice how when you give an experience kindness it tends to relax. If you find any experience difficult or the mind is resisting, just experiment with how you hold that experience. Maybe you can give it more space. So if there's a physical pain, rather than going very close and zooming into the center, you can just Gently step back a little bit and allow the awareness to open, including areas around that area of intensity or contraction. Handling it very gently, just as you would a small bird. What kind of holding is necessary to keep it safe and keep it present? If it's too tight, you crush the bird. If it's too loose, it just flies away. The mind gets repelled from the experience. So just see what kind of attention is needed to hold it in awareness with kindness. Now inviting you to bring your intention to the heart area. The area in the middle of the chest. And see if you can feel any sensation there. Bringing kindness. 
If you find any contraction or resistance or the outer walls around the heart, just gently draw closely towards them, breathing in to them. Allowing them to soften and relax with every breath. And as you breathe in, you may imagine a beautiful golden light softly shining on your heart area. with every out breath, just relaxing that whole area. If this is comfortable, continue to breathe in light into the heart area. Breathe out, relax. Remaining aware of the effect this has on the sensations and how kindness tends to allow them space to be seen and felt and also to pass through.
and as you breathe into your heart area notice how it feels now if there's any feeling of slight expansion or lightness maybe a tingling sensation or a warm glow or even a little bit more peace than you had when we started just allow the mind to tune into that as well however subtle and just rest with that pleasant experience As you breathe in golden light and you breathe out relaxing, relaxing the boundaries and the unnecessary defences, trusting that we're held and supported by our own goodness. See if you can allow that sensation of peace, however subtle, to just expand from the heart area and start spreading very gently across the chest and into the arms, down the arms to the fingertips. As if you're spreading golden light down into the belly, into the hips, through the chest, into the back, upper back, middle back, lower back. to the bottom and the thighs and down the legs to the feet just breathing into that experience of the whole body
before we end the meditation, just keep your eyes closed. How do you feel now? What kind of qualities are there in the mind? Has there been any softening or releasing of craving and resistance? What led to that? If there are any areas where there's still resistance or tightness, wanting to run away or reject, just notice how that feels as well. And what are the causes for that? And looking inside again, as though you're looking upon yourself with kindly eyes, and just appreciate your goodness, your wholesome intentions. See if you can feel grateful and rejoice in that. getting a sense of the people in the room. And imagine you're looking upon them also with the same kindness and non-judgment. Offering them the gift of trust and safety. And well-being. 